Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today I want to explain you how you can use SharePoint Framework 1.18 to create adaptive card extensions which can collect input from users through a card view which is based on a text box and on a button. In fact, with the new component based card views, we can create a card which will prompt the user for an input and will allow the user to click on a button to trigger some kind of custom functionality based on that input. It is really interesting whenever you want to create, for example, scenarios like a bot system where the user provides an input and clicks on a button to get a response, or to search for a supporting system ticket, or whatever kind of functionality which can be based on a single text input and on the click on a specific button in the UI of the card view. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So here you can see the adaptive card extension in action. It is a really simple one, which provides to the end user a text box and a button. The idea of this demo is to just provide the symbol of a stock and to get the trend of that specific stock. So for example, let's search for Microsoft. You just write the symbol, you click on the button and you will be brought to Yahoo Finance just for the sake of making an example, getting the trend information about the uh, stock title itself. Now, how uh, did I create uh, this uh, sample solution? Well, here I have by Visual Studio Code uh, with the solution. It is a regular adaptive card extension. So in the uh, adaptive card extension definition by itself, uh, there is nothing special. But in the card view, I'm using the new uh, component based model. So my card view is based on the base components card view. In the card view parameters uh, uh, generation, I'll provide a component card view parameters object, uh, which will be based on a base card view. The basic card view will have a card bar, which is the section with the title. We'll have a header where I will simply provide the text that you see right here. And then I will have a footer in which I decided to use as the component name the text input, which is a specific flavor of component, which allows me to have a text box and a button. In fact, for the text box, I will simply provide the ID of the text box control in the UI of the card view and eventually placeholder text. And then for the button, aside from the icon, I will have an action of type submit, which will have an idea of show trend for my stock. So on the on action event of my adaptive card extension card view, in the action that I get as an input, which is of type I action argument, I can see if the action type is submit, so this one. And if the ID of the action is show trend, so the one that I have in my footer, I can then read action.data.symbol, which will give me access to the text provided by the user in the UI of the card view. And that's it. Then you can simply do whatever you want to do. And in my scenario, I simply create a dynamic URL to Yahoo Finance to show the quote trend. And that's it. Really simple scenario. So you define the ID of the text box, you get the value of the text through action.data.symbol in the on action event of the card view. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.